this is sort of a pool area. So in terms of need, most of the people somehow come to the Delta and that's why it, it becomes uh, a very problematic area in terms of hazards and disasters. All these things are interlinked. As you face drought, you have movements of people, then you have conflict. You have issues of climate change, resources becoming scarce, and this also leads to a lot of competition over scarce resources, and that's why you experience a lot of inter-ethnic competition of our resources. Ilikuwa kazi yetu ni ufugo tu ya ngombe. Lakini wali tuonesha mpano mungine ya shamba, tukajaribu, tukafaulu. Tawa katuletea greenhouse pia, tukalima, na tumevuna mara mingi sana. Kwaendelea tena wakatufadhili mbuzi, mara kwanza walitufadhili mbuzi shirini. Pia tumefanya hawa mamama kila mtu wakona biyashara hapa hii taoni yetu ndogo na hata tulinunua shamba na saa hii hata wanaume yetu waliona faida na wamefunga mkono. Tukilipokuja tukapata na hii makiga, tukasema tupige mawe, hii mawe tuwanze biyashara. Halafu ndio tukapiga mawe, ikawa zile pesa zika tusimamia kununua mchanga tumemununua mchanga nikate tukawa tunaiuza hapa hapa alafu tukasema mikate si afadhali tuanze kupeleka nje tukaenda paka gamba pale guest house tukapata soko la kupeleka mikate pale tumeenda paka garseni kwanza tulianza tukiwa six tukaanza kama merry go round lakini pia tukaona haisaidi cuz shida ni mingi ile pesa unapata ni kidogo tukaamua tu register kikundi na social services sasa kuanzia hapo tukawa tunaendelea pia na kununuliana vitu za kwa nyumba tulikuja watu wa UNDP wakatuongelesha alafu wakatuletea hizi energy saver jiko kama hiyo iko hapo nje hasa kuanzia hapo tukaona maisha yakaanza kubadilika hasa ikatuwezesha hata ku save more tulikuwa tumefungua account kila mtu na account yake ndani na account ya kikundi kuna wengine wako tuna mbaduka kidogo salon tukao tunaendelea hivyo pole pole. Mfadhili akarudi tena. Tukanunuliwa oven. Tukaletewa pia hii slicer nayo ikatusaidia pakubwa. Baadaye ukaja watu wa UNDP wakawa wanatembelea vijiji. So walipokuja kupitia kwa ofisi ya livestock wakaanza kutusaidia. Na mara ya kwanza katika ile usaidizi ambao walitusaidia nao walitusaidia na mizinga kumi, e, beehives za, za Langstroth. Sasa tuka tunaendelea na hizo. So katika ile hali ya kuendelea kachukua two local artisans wakawapeleka molo wakaenda waka train short course ya 10 days wakapata zile trainings tukaenda tukajifundisha maneno ya ya beekeeping bee management na bee equipment alafu wakatufundisha mambo ya procurement na tendering sasa waliporudi ndio wakaanza kufanya hiyo kazi sasa hii tunatengeneza sisi mizinga hapa tulikuwa tuna hatuna pesa kuna changamoto lakini tumepata oda ya mizinga 146 ambao kwamba tunapelekea groups fulani katika hii county